Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jaden Irwin, and today I actually wanted to go through a, another update of our Astro Sanity Minimal Starter uh, repo that I've done a couple of videos on. This one's going to be focused around a code block, though. So on the blog post, or really wherever you want to put it, um, in this case, on a blog post, we're going to have this code block component. And you'll notice that it is a dynamic code block, so you can actually hit copy up in the top right and it will copy whatever code is inside of that. Um, there's a little bit of an animation on there too, which is kind of cool. And then it actually tells you the type of language that is inside that code block. And you'll notice that it's using Prism, which is a really popular um, package that will stylize code inside of um, you know divs or wherever you want to put it, most likely inside of a, a code uh, tag or code element. And inside of that, you'll notice that it stylizes everything. It puts all the colors to a theme. Um, this is a theme that they have. I think I've made a couple of tweaks to it. Um, but for the most part, it's just one of the styles and themes that they have. Um, so I wanted to mainly show you how to set this up. I've already written this code component. I'm going to make it open source and add it to the um, starter. This is actually on my own site. This is one of my own blog posts. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. If you go on to the uh, setup here that we have in Astro Insanity, I've already gone ahead and installed this code input component or this code input package. And that was just a simple command, sanity install at sanity forward slash code input. And what's really cool about this, thank you. I don't really want to butcher the name, <laughs> but thank you contributor. Um, who actually created this. It's really cool that there's already some Sanity plugins that let you do really awesome things like this just with a simple install. Um, and the way this works on the Sanity side, we're going to hop over to Sanity. Let's go ahead and get it running. Sanity start. I already installed it, but I'll show you how to add it to the schema. Uh, where we're going to add it is this block content. So block content inside the schemas folder. You can already see that we have image in there. We're going to add another object here. This will be type. And they do describe this inside of their um, you know, documentation here. Just making sure that's running. Let's go ahead and load up Sanity. And perfect. We have Sanity running. We're going to go to a post. And let's go to actually one of these existing posts. You notice all I did was added this type code. There's other options that we can use, but that should just work. So now if we go in here to our body content of this post, we'll expand the editor, go to a new line, and then we'll click on insert code. And there's our code block right there. So What's cool about this is it already has built-in languages. So we could do JavaScript. And you know what? Let's just go ahead. We'll go to our Astro. And let's copy. Technically, this is TypeScript. But we should be able to copy maybe not the whole thing. Let's just do this function right here. JavaScript, perfect. Close that. And then we have already, it's using Prism as well, using its own theme. They do give you options actually inside this code input to select your own theme, which is cool. Um, I kind of like the default one though, so we'll stick with that. And then let's just go ahead and publish that change. And then we'll collapse that down. So we have a published change. We've got a code block inside of a blog post. Um, now, if we run Astro, the Astro side, I should say, of this project. Go ahead and running there, and we'll do localhost 3000. Go to our blog, and it was this post. So let's click on that. You notice we don't have a code component there or a code block, right? Because I haven't gone through the setup of that side yet. That's what I wanted to walk you guys through. So, uh, what we're going to do, and you'll actually see inside the Astro. Um, terminal here, it's giving us an error. It's saying unknown block type of code. So it is hitting that code block, but it doesn't know what to do with it quite yet. And I briefly mentioned this on my last video, 
where we updated the sanity block content. So this is kind of a setup for this whole video too. Uh, we wanted to do serializers, right? So const serializers, and that's an object, types, and then we're going to do code. Let's go ahead and close that object. And I have Copilot. It's a little bit of cheating, <laughs> but um, let's just go ahead and not use it. I'm going to do node, and then we're going to return, do an arrow function here. Code block is the name of our code block component. And we'll have that there. And if you look at the code block, it has a couple of properties. So it has a property of language and then it has a property of code. And code is just a string that comes in, and the language is also a string. So let's go back to our block content, const serializers, and we're gonna do code equals node.code. And the reason why this is gonna work, or should work, is because node is actually the uh, individual block for that code block that's coming through and we can access information on that um, and it should be node.code and then let's do another language right so node.language should work there and we still don't have it so let's go ahead and inspect let's just make sure our element is passing through open the article there's the div. Oh, <laughs> coding in a nutshell, right? We're not using the serializers yet, so let's do that. Now we're using the serializer. Let's go ahead and look at that. We have our div right here, some p tags, and then there's our code block, code equals, and look at that. There is the code coming from Sanity language equals JavaScript. Remember, we selected JavaScript. Um, so we have it, but it's not displaying. And the reason for that is this is a uh, lit component, and that lit component is not actually imported as a script tag on page yet. So we'll go to layouts. Um, in this case, we're going to add it to the blog post layout because in you know the way this is set up, for the most part, it's going to be for like developers, right? Writing blog posts. And you're mostly only going to use that code block on blog post. But if you wanted to add it to the base layout, you definitely can. What we're going to do is put this in as a script tag. Type this module source equals. And because it's astro, we want to help it find the file. So astro.resolve. And then we have to give it the path. And I think I only have to go up one to component. Code block, code dash block dot ts. Let's close that script tag and check it out. <laughs> uh, pretty cool, you know. We with not a whole lot of work. I mean, there's there's not too much code inside of this code block. There are some styles. Most of the styles are the prism theme. I just went ahead and put the prism theme directly inside of the code block. I found that's probably one of the best ways, or cleanest ways to do it. You could definitely put the theme somewhere else though, if you want. Um, it's kind of, re it's encapsulation, right, on all of the code blocks, so it should be fine. Um, but if you wanted to load it once, you could separate this theme and put it somewhere else. Um, but there you go. We have JavaScript up there in the tag. We have copy up in the top right corner and then copied. And it actually, I guess we should just test it, right? Let's do another new file here. There you go. It has it copied. Um, if you don't believe me, I will <laughs> clear my key, clear my uh, clipboard. So let's copy that. Paste, there you go. Let's try it, copied, and there you go. Cool. So that is really it. Um, not a whole lot of work to get this to work. 
Um, you do have to go through on the sanity side, make sure you have a code input option so you can create a code block. And then you now have a code block. Um, I will probably, after this video, figure out why that copy button is not white. Um, probably a simple CSS class that I need to fix. Um, but there you go. I mean, we've got a code block with a nice little shadow on it. And then we have copy. We've got a little um, tag up here to tell someone this is the type of language that you're looking at inside of the code block. And it's doing the dynamic um, theme on the code too. So that's really it. I mean, if you have any questions, definitely let me know in the comments below. I know I kind of blazed through all that. Um, but I really kind of set up the last video to go through this. I'll do a, a quick explainer too. The reason why I'm using a lit component in here instead of a, another React component is I'm still figuring out how Astro could do a nested React component and load it and load the JavaScript for it. I was having some issues with that and I personally like lit components. I, write, I like writing most of my components in lit. Um, that's just kind of my preference. So that's why I went with a lit component and I think it is really lightweight the way that this loads in. And because it's for the most part, you know, lit is just a, another layer. It's one little layer on top of vanilla. Uh, it's a really small layer. Then, um, you know, we can get that to load with a simple script tag. So that's really it. Um, again, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'm happy to answer it as best I can. Um, and if you ever have any questions or if maybe you want to file an issue on the GitHub repo, absolutely do that. I've actually had a couple people already file issues on some of my other starters. Um, so if you want to, hop in, go to that repo, file an issue. If you have a suggestion about how to do something a little differently or um, if you notice that I missed something because no code is perfect, um, it's always just getting better, right? So um, definitely file an issue if you um, have any suggestions. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.